When we talk about rectal function recovery after radical prostatectomy, we have actually nowadays several treatment options, such as PD-5 inhibitors. We have a possibility to use vacuum erection devices. We have uh, other treatment options, such as intracavernosal injections and uh, surgery with penile prosthesis implantation. Age, as well as patient motivation, preoperative and baseline patient characteristics play a major role in the selection of the treatment we can provide to our patient. Obviously, younger patients and healthier patients and patients with better preoperative characteristics are the ones who should be treated and who should receive more aggressive approaches after the radical prostatectomy to recover rectal function. A well-performed neurovascular bundles preservation plays a major role. We also know that the introduction of novel technologies such as robot-assisted radical prostatectomy and other minimal invasive surgeries can improve our outcomes in terms of sexual and erectile function after surgery. There is no uh, optical management uh, for Peyronie's disease uh, being identified yet. Um, its case is uh, very unique and individual. The management can uh, uh, vary from uh, oral treatment to injection therapy and uh, at the end uh, uh, we may end up to a surgical intervention for uh, the penile curvature uh, repair. The incidence of uh, Peyronie's disease is very low, only 3%. However, this percentage is, very, uh, is under reporting because uh, for two things. First of all, the uh, patients with mild symptoms, they don't seek for any advice uh, or they don't go to uh, an uh, urologist. Secondly, uh, quite high percentage of patients, uh, is, uh, they feel embarrassing to uh, go and discuss this. Uh, high percentage of patients, about 50%, they feel depressed about this situation. They feel uncomfortable. Uh, however, we have to make our best to inform these patients and make them to come and attend our consulting rooms. When a patient comes to us, finally with Peyronie's disease, we have to uh, treat the patient uh, in a whole. That means that we should treat the disease, but at the, mo at the same time to reach and uh, treat the psychological aspects uh, that uh, this disease can uh, affect to the patient. This surveillance is an increasingly uh, used option in a selected and very selected patients with prostate cancer. We should always remember that the primary goal of treatment in prostate cancer patients is to cure the disease. However, when we have a possibility to delay or to avoid this treatment because a patient has a so-called indolent prostate cancer, actually at active surveillance might play a major role and can have benefits also in terms of postoperative, uh, let's say, reducing the risk of postoperative complications.